way of life. Western civilization tried to impose new ideas and new belief systems on us, but the indigenous traditional culture has survived. One sees it in our way of life, in our dance culture, in the rites of passage that we perform from birth to death. وعليه إلى من تعود جذور الملكة شيبة. The origin comes from the first king Nimrod. Nimrod's daughter was Sheba, which we call Sheba the first in accordance to our African tradition. Sheba the second, which is in later history, is of the lines of the kings and queens, the pharaohs, the black pharaohs, and the kingdoms throughout Africa, which was the most known of the Sheba of the thrones. Sheba the third of today is of that same kingdom collective lines. The kingdoms of Africa is born from this bloodline root. There is, it is not possible to be a king or to be a queen in Africa unless you are from those straight lines of bloodline and historical roots. When the empire was expanded or formed in Nubia in the time of the Kush Empire and the Sheba Empire, the empire itself comprised of the kingdoms that was formed from those nations throughout Africa. Yeah. The key ruling nation at that time was Egypt. Nubia as well was the home of Sheba and that included the lower part of Egypt or north of Egypt, south of Egypt, sorry, north of Sudan and south of Libya. But that did not contain the complete empire. The empire covered all of Africa and actually stretched into Kushan and those places of India, India and as well as into the Americas. <laughs>